five years or so, 11 to 21 million illegals. Uh, and then, as of last year, an additional 1 million illegals were listed as entering the United States, so the number went up to 12 to 22 million. Well, I saw a news report, uh, it was online, uh, about three days ago. It said, no, that number, the lower number is wrong. It's definitely 22 million illegals. So this is what you're dealing with in terms of people being unlicensed. And so we have to make a way. I know uh, there's been a, some adjustment to assist people that are operating in the United States illegally to get licenses, but it's not enough. We need to do more to make sure that they do have licenses, licenses excuse me, and feel secure in getting those licenses. Um, I and know insurance. I, right. Because I saw... Um, mm. and, I, and Kelly just added, uh, as an addendum, insurance. insurance. Mm -hmm. We right. should also um, try to make... The, to solve a lot of these problems of well, illegal drivers, mm -hmm. um, not just um, illegal aliens, but the cost of licenses, license, getting a license and getting right. insurance costs way too much, mm -hmm. you know, and you can't do anything now without a car. So people are breaking the law because they mm -hmm. kind of have to at this right. point. They can't get to work without, you know, a car unless they depend on public transportation. Mm -hmm. You really can't depend on public mm -hmm. transportation anywhere in this country. Right. So uh, a big problem is making these things affordable for people and it was done that way on purpose you know they don't want everyone right. driving and it made it a little bit easier if we make it a little less affordable for everyone right you know i saw a film uh, i guess it was about uh, 